Hello Booktube, it's Janet and today I've got a little quick book haul for you and the first book I want to show you is my book buddy box um, book that I got for December from Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books and this is The Night Rainbow by Claire King. Uh, it's a hardback book and just the cover is absolutely beautiful and this apparently it's set in France and it follows uh, P and Margot, um, the, the two young girls of an English mother whose father has died and sounds like mum is in some sort of depressive state because they can't reach her and apparently there's a baby that's left at the hospital so maybe there's been a stillbirth and then um, P befriends a man called Claude in a meadow that she likes to go and explore and the villagers obviously have some sort of suspicion about Claude I don't really know where this book is going to be going to but with Eleanor it's always going to be something I'll enjoy reading she has fantastic taste in books she seems to like everything that I like and so I trust her implicitly and obviously with the book buddy box um, Eleanor puts little little surprises amongst the pages you get little um, comments so it's like you're reading the book with Eleanor holding your hand and reading it along with you so that's the first book I've got to show you the second book I've got is the second one in the Sin Eater series and this is The Sleeping Prince by Melinda Salisbury absolutely beautiful cover and this um, is the second one in the series I've got the first one but I've not actually read it yet they're kind of a uh, they are a little bit of a fairy tale retelling um it says this is the story of the sleeping prince who rises from his slumber once every hundred years and he wreaks horror and bloodshed and there's a, a war that that's that's going to take place and so i just found the idea of the first book really intriguing and then obviously i wanted to to carry on although i haven't read either yet but they they look like something i really would enjoy so i decided to get the second one in the series the next one i've got to show you is a, a non-fiction book and this is called everybody matters by rob chapman and raj sisoda so this is a book about um within organizations making sure that every person feels valued and important and that um obviously that the contribution to the, the organisation as a whole is as e equal value with everybody else. Um, so I thought this would be a, an interesting read. So I thought I'd give that one a go. I quite like the little people there at the front. That's a nice little graphic. And the next one I've got is also um, a non-fiction book and this is called Methods of Persuasion, How to Use Psychology to Influence Human Behaviour. And this is by Nick Kalenda. It's got a nice picture of a brain dangling. This is a, a book about how, how to bring about change and a change in attitude, to bring about change in organisations, to make improvements and techniques for that. So I thought that would be quite a good book to read and then we've also got I just wanted to show you the happy reader I don't know if any of you know about this this is a journal that penguin books produce um it comes out quarterly I believe um comes with a little bookmark it only costs three pounds and they only charge it for the postage but it's a really good read this has got Kristen Scott Thomas on the front and you get sort of quite an in-depth um account of, of whoever is the cover person's reading and, and reading life and then you get sort of focuses uh, on um, books and classics and different things at the back so it's, it's quite a good read it comes out quarterly so I just thought I would show you that one as well because it's a it's a really good journal to, to get and the final one I've got to show you is non-fiction as well and this is the Penguin Mi uh, Lessons by Tom Mitchell or Michelle and this is a true story and it's got a beautiful picture and it, apparently it just intrigued me and I think it's quite popular in the bestsellers list at the moment um, and it's uh, where the author was on holiday in Uruguay and he rescued this penguin from an oil slick and then the bird sort of imprints on him and refuses to leave him um, so we then apparently he smuggles the penguin across the border through customs into Argentina where he's going to be teaching at a boys boarding school. The penguin he names Juan Salvador and it becomes the school's rugby team mascot and the housekeeper's confident, um, the hostess Tom's parties and the most remarkable swimming coach in history. And it's the plucky penguin transforms the life of everyone he meets, in particular one young homesick school boy. And as for Tom, he discovers he has a tr discovers a true friend like 
no other and it just sounds delightful I mean who doesn't love a penguin so it looks like an absolutely lovely heartwarming fabulous read and it's a true story too so um, I'm very keen to read that one so that's it for this little quick uh, book haul let me know if you've read any of these and what you think of them um, I will see you all soon keep reading bye